Welcome to the Weekly Forecast. I'm your host, Darth Jarvis. Saturday is looking lovely with temperatures starting off a little cool in the mid 40s, but quickly climbing up to reach the mid 60s by the afternoon. It's looking pretty sunny, minimal cloud cover all day and no precipitation, just a nice clear day. There's a small high pressure system sitting over us for most of the day, but it's not a very strong system and the gradient is pretty small, which means light wind, but probably nothing more than about 10 miles per hour. The day is going to start off fairly humid um, and that humidity is going to dissipate as we move into the afternoon, but another wave of humidity is going to come from the west um, as we move into the evening and into Sunday morning. Sunday is looking a little bit cooler, probably only getting up to around 57 in the afternoon. Um, the wind is going to be a little bit stronger, but still nothing to worry about, um, and it's going to shift from south west to south and eventually to east by the end of the day. The morning isn't going to be as chilly as Saturday morning because of that overnight cloud cover that traps the heat near the surface of the earth. Um, but unfortunately, those clouds are going to stick around for the rest of the day. We're going to have a rainy afternoon and into Sunday night and Monday morning. The omega block that we've been experiencing for the past several days is finally going to start dissipating, which means that a low pressure system that's been hovering above the Gulf of Mexico and sucking up moisture is going to be able to move in our direction, and bring all that humidity with it. An omega block is a jet stream pattern that occurs when a high pressure system, you can see here, blocks other systems from moving into an area, which causes a period of relatively stagnant weather. Um, when the system dissipates, it's also going to allow that low pressure system that's been sitting a little bit east of us to move on um, and start to clear up a bit. The movement of the jet stream has a big effect on our weather here, especially during this time of year. Um, you can see that the polar jet stream is way up north of us, which is allowing um, some warmer air to move in from farther south. You can even see some of the subtropical jet stream is moving a little bit north. We're looking at a pretty cloudy rest of the week with a series of low pressure systems moving through and temperatures hovering in the mid to upper 40s and reaching highs just in the low 50s. There won't be much temperature fluctuation between day and night due to the cloud cover that traps the heat near the surface. Um, and the rain that was going to continue into Monday morning uh, will probably be gone by the afternoon, giving us a little bit of sun. But those clouds are going to move back in for Tuesday and continue into Wednesday, which is going to be a pretty rainy day. Thursday is looking like the best day of the week. Um, very little cloud cover for most of the day. But on Friday, we'll have those clouds moving back in, uh, bringing some rain starting in the late morning and continuing into the afternoon and evening. Thank you for watching. I've been your host, Darth Jarvis.